Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to talk about where I've been, what's been happening over the last six weeks, and what's to come on this channel. I, look, I'm just going to say it from the get-go, I had somewhat of a, a breakdown, somewhat of a mental breakdown, about six weeks ago, where I was getting pressure and stress from all different things in life and it just became too much and I sort of, in a way, threw my hands up in the air with it all and said, look, I, I give up. I give up. It's too much. And uh, what that forced me to do was to, you know, let go of everything that I was doing apart from going to work to earn my money and apart from the relationship between me and my daughter. And I focused on those two things. And I, I let go everything to do with major key physiques it was it was too much i couldn't face it i could i couldn't even log into instagram guys because let's talk about social media and instagram how that was affecting me negatively was i was continually comparing myself with other brands with other people people that were killing it in life so you know so it looks like uh but instagram is just a highlight reel and uh you know you, you Endless scrolling through Instagram is, is only going to be bad for your mental health. I saw Instagram as a fantastic tool for me to promote myself, for me to promote my business. But all I was doing was second guessing myself and overthinking things. And I wasn't promoting, I wasn't posting, I wasn't, wasn't doing anything. So what happened was I decided to actually uh, quit using my smartphone for a month. I didn't use my smart, smartphone for a month, which means that I couldn't do anything to do with the brand, um, I couldn't do anything to do with YouTube, nothing on Instagram, Facebook, nothing. I just had to focus on me, focus on getting right, focus on getting my personal life right, and then slowly add that stuff back in. And that's what I did. I had to take a break from social media. I also uh, have been starting to get up at five in the morning rather than 15 minutes before starting work and being in a rush and starting off negatively. You know, you get up early and I'm actually going to the gym. So before, you know, I wasn't going to the gym, which negatively affects my mental health, but the reason I wasn't going is because I'm not going to go in the morning. I said, nah, there's no way I'm going in the morning. I can't do it. But you can, and I have been. But anyway, I wasn't going in the morning. I was doing a 12-hour day at work, coming home and not going because I just can't be fucked. And uh, that's an attitude that crept in slowly, but the fact is, is I've, I've been able to completely switch that around by doing one simple thing, getting up earlier. So I get up at five in the morning and go to the gym. I have brought Instagram back in, in the last two days. That's why I'm creating this video now, to talk about my experience, uh, why that happened. Uh, the next video after that, we're going to talk about, rela uh, not relationship, um, family counselling which is what I've started to do. So I'm going to come to you guys as you know, someone who's pro most probably going to be a single dad um, who is going through relationship counseling and, and talking about my experiences. You know, this, this channel has always been real. It's always been unfiltered, um, you know, unbiased. There's certain things in my personal life that I've probably overshared in the past. And some of you may not be interested in, in relationship counseling and how I'm developing as a parent, but that's me. And that is the shit that's going on in my head right now. I'm thinking about my personal life. I'm thinking about becoming the man that I want to be. I'm thinking about, you know, prioritizing, reprioritizing things in a way that I'm not going to have one of those breakdowns that I talked about before ever again. Because you feel, it's a weird feeling. You feel helpless. You, you feel, you feel like nothing's ever going to improve. You feel, you just, I don't know. It's just, you, you try and think about one problem and then there's another one and then there's another one and then there's another one. You start giving yourself panic attacks. I mean, it's all just rolls into one. I had to just let it all go. And that's what I did. It was scary. The one thing that I didn't want to do was, was stop trying to build this this business, this this clothing brand. And I had to. I had to let it go. 
I actually gave ownership to my sister for a month. And I, at the point, at the start, when I, when I decided to, to get rid of my smartphone, I thought I wasn't going to get one again. I thought it's over. I thought it's done. That's how desperate I was. But over time, you know, life goes on and I, I, I came back up to a more even sort of keel as far as my attitude goes. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right now. Uh, certain things that I need to get sorted have been. Um, and that's what I'm going to talk about in another video is actually uh, financial stress that I've been under. I almost sent myself bankrupt and that was the catalyst for this breakdown. I came back from Cairns with no money, with no plan, my daughter wasn't here, the business hadn't gone as well as I thought it would, I didn't have a place to live, I had to go back to my old job which I didn't really enjoy. Um, my YouTube channel wasn't growing uh, and in those times you you, you, you sit back and think, <laughs> is this what life's really about? Is it? Getting mortgages? Being in debt? No, it's not. So, in another video I'm going to talk about how I actually had to sell one of my properties recently to pay debt to save myself from bankruptcy. And in another video I'm going to talk about how I'm almost about to sign my first ever commercial lease for Major Keepers X, which is a risk, but it's a risk, it's a calculated risk, and I need a spot where I can put everything to do with this business, where I can roll in there, I can, I can turn up to, to work effectively, and not have, not try and balance Major Keepers X, YouTube, and my personal life. I would, I, would, I would love nothing more than to have all of my computer gear, everything, away from the house in an office, which is exactly what's going to happen. It's a cheap office here in Alice Springs, uh, but I'm excited. It's going to give me, it's, it's you know, hopefully going to get the ball rolling uh, again with this brand. And at the end of this video, I'm actually going to show you guys a quick clip uh, that we've, we've had shot. It's going to be one of the first video clips that we use as far as promotion promotional material for this brand and I think it's sick so uh, definitely let me know down in the comment section below what you think uh, but you know I nearly gave it up I nearly gave it up but I'm back we've got something here I've got something here business is cutthroat it's not easy to get money off people but we're in this together guys we're in this together so anyways wow I've been talking for 10 minutes, I could probably go on for another 10, there's been a whole lot of shit going on, but like I said, there's going to be a series of videos coming out talking about my different experiences that I've been going through in the last 4-6 to six weeks, and uh, we can only go up from here. So, once again, thank you for being here, I don't know whether this video is going to be put up, I'm going to have to re-watch it. I've got to be careful because I have been away for a while and these personal videos, these vlog, you know, one-to-one -one type videos are a part of my channel and I do do them, but at the moment because I'm a bit out of touch, because I'm a bit out of practice, I don't exactly know how this has come across. Um, I feel as if <laughs> I've lost a little bit of my vocabulary, uh, I've lost a little bit of my spark, but... I'm confident it's coming back, and it all started with shaving off the beard. I feel fresh, I feel good, let's keep it rolling. Have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, and uh, look out for those videos. We are continuing the top 100, that is coming out, just in time to start reacting to the new top 100. So stay tuned, the videos are edited, I've just been in a, in a really... I've been in a stalemate with myself. It's been fucked, but I'm back. Thanks for being here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. When we talk about not having a smartphone for 30 days. It was good. Peace. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel because it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I run the mile. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. 
Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane. It's quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now. I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like a Jordan on my way. Boom, boom, tell them I'm my lane. I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing. I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me.